2,000 fails and only 16 wins at a 1% rate on round six. How is this even possible? Well, there's one reason. It's on Sanctuary. This map is hard enough on its own to get to know what's going on. So let's just throw down a Quincy. We'll start with him. I think that's just the default here. What the heck? Why do I have big balloons on? I always forget that those changes are in the settings. You can go make small balloons, big balloons, big towers, little towers. But Quincy is not the answer. We can't lose any lives here. I was hoping I'd have a sniper, but that'd be too easy, I guess. Maybe a ninja. I think we can upgrade one upgrade. No, no upgrades. So maybe it's not where we want to be. Maybe it's going to be some like super sniper spot with a dart where you like, we don't even have a dart, but you kind of throw it like across the track. That could be pretty awesome. What's weird about the sub is that he usually gets everything, but then like not in the best spot, but we can afford two things. That's not bad. So like we could put this guy here to slow him down. That could be kind of cool, right? No, because he doesn't even hit those ones right there. Oh, wow. He let a lot go. The Druid's really solid and we have Druidic Reach. There we go. Maybe we need to put him at the bot. I just don't even know. Where would you even place? What would you place? There's so much to choose here. We could even go with an engineer, but I think the reason this has so many fails is because we're thinking we have to place it. Whoa, that was almost super clean. So maybe it's just like a little tweak off to the right right there, or I guess his left, maybe, maybe. Oh no, that was even worse. Do you see though how a couple pixels can completely change a game? Let's try a little bit to the left then. Okay, that's pretty good. No, we need one more. All right, all right. Let's just go straight in the middle and then see if we have any upgrades, which we don't. Maybe we should be shoot it on last. Like that was so clean. If we could just get one more shot, you know? Okay, Engineer is definitely in the running for best tower so far, but I just don't want to believe it just yet. Now, have we tried anything down here? Because this is going to move, right? But not good enough. Yeah, no. So they're all going nowhere that we can do it. So we have to, I mean, I don't want to say have to because it could completely change when we get wrecked, but we have to start from up top. Oh, we can do faster throwing and long range. I think it might be the boomer then, right? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. So let's try maybe improved rings so we can get him up a little bit more attack. So like right there. Oh, there we go. But now he's slow. So do you want slow, fast or strong? What do you want? Oof, between the engineer and the boomer, I can't decide which is better. But what if we go, oh, no, 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 no. What if we go on strong though? Like on, or maybe left-handed. There's so many options with the boomerang. I totally forgot about that. So we'll go left-handed and try the same exact strategy there. Cause those come out a little bit differently. Um, I'd say, I'd say no on that one. No go. Let's try strong then. Maybe that'll help something out. No. So same thing there. Oh, we do have a boat, but it's just not a good spot for the boat. I mean, we have one spot and it's just not good. So maybe, no, because he can't double shot, right? Like normally he shoots left and right, but he can't do that. Maybe if we start on the actual right side or his left. The boat is the coolest base tower, by the way, guys. Just look how cool it is. And he has a boat. I, I guess I just am biased because I love boats, but that thing just looks so cool. I mean, maybe? Oh, that was, I don't even know why I thought that would work for a second. That was ugly. Okay, just a, a single tower bomb. Have you ever, 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 ever in your entire career of balloons ever just placed a bomb and left it as a zero, zero, zero? I think that is the most useless zero tower I've ever seen in my life. Because if you were going to buy a zero tower to pop leads, you would get an alchemist zero, zero, zero because he's cooler and you could use him utility pretty much quicker. I just, I don't know. I would never just place a bomb. And we can't sell either. I was thinking like, what if we sold, like get this one down to like that. And then even though though, that wouldn't do anything, huh? This is so crazy to me. What if we place him here? Like what if it's just the way he shoots down that way? Oh, his, his shots aren't long enough. An alchemist. We're just talking smack on him or saying how great he was. What if that's the answer? One more. No. Oh, he does get all of them though. Did you see that? They were all popped red. So if we can just get him to hit them once. So maybe it could be like how I placed them. One more. Oh, because look, if he just hits that one, we're done. Those are covered. That's the answer. How do we make that work though? It's either going to be placement or on strong. Okay, that just, oh, that's too slow. So maybe if we start him off over here, leave him on first. That's fine. So one, two. Oh, he's just so slow. Everything he does is slow. Oh man, how do we get that one? Okay, let's, let's be smart about this. Where is that one coming from? Is it on this side? So it goes there and then goes there. So, okay, so we gotta hit here first. That makes sense. So we'll put it on close right there. No, cause then he just hits that one and we don't care about, well, he still missed it. How'd he miss it still? Okay, maybe it's a delay start. So we'll hit him like all at once. So boom. Oh, that was pretty not bad. That was actually not bad. How do we make that a little bit better? So we'll delay start and we'll blop. Oh, he only hit the one though. So see, you get where I'm going with this though. If we can make it hit two each time. So we'll blop it, we'll blop it, blop blop. Oh, he didn't blop. He did. He blooped. He didn't blop. Okay. Let's try that again, but a little sooner. So we'll blop, blop. 
Ooh, whoa, that was a little closer there. Okay, let's bloop and blop at the same time again. Bloop, blop. Oh my goodness, that's so close. But I don't even know if that one's actually gonna pop right there. We can't actually see it. Okay, I was gonna try the glue gunner and say like this is his saving day, but I don't think that's the answer. I just think the alchemist might be a little too far fetched. I wanna come back to it, but I just wanna make sure all of our other options are kind of outweighed a little bit. So we do have this guy, but guided magic, I don't think can cover this stuff. Nah, it's not good enough. I mean, it's pretty good actually. That was not bad. That was actually not bad. I just really like those delay starts. Whenever you have a challenge with those, it just, it's so clean, you know? Cause you just wait for everything to come down at once and you go bloop, bloop, which that didn't really matter for him. It'd be more for the alchemist, right? Not necessarily though. What if the bomb can do everything at once? No, he's so bad. Bomb equals bad. If I can just make this guy pull a little earlier, like what's his range? Can we go right there? No, that's too smooth. Too soon, right now. There we go. You know what I could do though? I don't need to put it that much closer. I could put it on this side instead. There we go. Now we can get them both. There we go. Like, no, he still does that one. You suck. So we'll put him right here and go like that. There we go. No. I think my favorite part about Quincy is that nothing gets past his bow. I think that's just his best quality he has. Oh wait, never mind. Three balloons got passed. Imagine buying a hero and if he can't destroy the first round of a match. Like that's just so sad. I love this guy, but you're so close, but yet so far away, which leads me to believe it could be a Quincy problem if he just was a little bit better. Maybe though, huh? If we could, look at that last hit could have just done it all for us. Like pixel perfect right at the tip right there. And we could try maybe close even, maybe. Maybe? No, that was even worse. Oh my gosh, if we could just get it just a little bit better. What's crazy is that I'm essentially placing it in the exact same pixel every time, maybe by off by like a tiny, tiny little tad, and it still changes up the direction. Like you won't get all of them. Sometimes we'll get all reds. Like right now it's a blue and a red, which makes no sense. But other times we get just three reds. Quincy, you, you are bad. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I love you. And I think the wolf costume is probably, see right there, is the coolest, but I, I don't know what to say. I'm just placing a little bit to the left, hoping that'll make a difference. You know what, guys? I, I just can't decide because Quincy's one pop away from making it work and so is the Alchemist, but I understand why this thing has like 2,000 fails. I'm probably gonna be half of them by the end of this. I've tried every version and every iteration of my boy Quincy Domus over here and I cannot get it to work. He does not work in. He gets it almost there and then he gives up on me. Like sometimes it's blue and red, sometimes it's just like one red. The one red is the worst for me because it's just, it's so close. And if you change it to like the last, it'll change it up too, which makes no sense. But he does like, well, watch, watch, watch. Just that one shot, he could have hit it all and would have been done. Even a wizard on strong, it's just, we need a little bit more range. How do we do it? Dude, this guy can one shot. He can one shot a green. I Like I knew that, but I didn't know this. What if we like strong him? Strong, strong, strong. See, why does, okay, okay. How come he one shot some of them, not the other? Is that because all three thorns are hitting? One, two, three. Oh, dude, you're so close. So we need to double shot those ones. You get what I'm saying here? So if he could do that and hit two and one, might need to like late place him or something, huh? See, that was two shots for one. That was stupid. So what if we wait till two of them are down there like this? Ah, oh, so close. I feel like that was, I feel like that's a good idea. So, blop, blop. No, that's not a good blop. Maybe we need to long range it afterwards. That's actually like cool, but not cool. So one, two. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not gonna work, but we can make it work. No, he's not even getting any if you don't do it right. Like none. So maybe he'll hit this one. Blop, blop, blop. No, no blop, blops. But I like as we waste more time, like you can actually get closer and closer with each tower, except for the boat. Oh no, one red. So if you just put him on strong, I feel like I've tried this, but like not thought about it through. I'm just kind of throwing stuff. But if you just think about it and go strong, strong, he'll double shot those ones sometimes. But see, that's a little off. So maybe it has to do with the placement then. So one, see, that's too far from him. That's the problem. That was pretty close though. It's just too far. One little pixel off to the left or the right could totally change this thing. So I'm thinking strong, strong, strong. That was a double. That was a great one. That was a great one. So how about just a little pixel off from the middle then? We'll just pixel perfect this one. Strong, strong, strong. Oh my goodness. Same thing, but different on the other side. Strong, 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 strong. We never tried two towers. Oh my God, he can't even reach. That's so pathetic. Look at this though, a glue and a boomer. I don't think it'll work though. It's not the worst. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this. 
No, because he can't even pop the one. He did get that whole right side, though. If we can just get him to get the left side, I think that right side's doable. So we'll put him there. And maybe on strong. We like putting things on strong. Let's try it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It looks like we're making some progress, maybe. So let's put him on left and then glue. Ooh, that left's pretty bad, though. Look at that thing go or not go, I guess. I just have a hard time feeling like this is the answer. But although we've, we've gotten pretty close with a lot of them, that one's pretty good. It's just, just as many as before, though. But he did manage to clear the whole right side, which he wasn't able to do. So how do we get him to pop just the left side? We don't, right? Just don't. Oh, like that. Like that. We, that's how we do it. Oh, what? Okay. So he was on left hand, but we put him maybe too far over. And Gloobadoo is doing some good work. Maybe we can get him to pop those. You see how he just like circles it, but didn't hit it? I just don't like that. I understand like maybe you can't circle. It's like a monkey knowledge thing, but come on. You hit it directly. Okay, so let's try this one. Left-handed, same thing. Same thing, but better placement. I'll do those. If he could just hit those greens twice, we could be on. Maybe he needs to turn his arm around. Turn his arm around. There we go. So put him there. Put him on left. Imagine if it has to do with the targeting of your hand of a boomerang. So boom, boom, boom. Oh, of course. Oh, 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 what? That could be it. But you see that he just missed that second red. If he was to make that red, that would have possibly done it. Oh my goodness. I would have never thought of this, but I did think of it. So I guess I would have thought of it, but you know what I mean? So we'll try left and then we'll go one, two. No, he just misses that one sometimes. I don't understand that. Why? Why does he miss? Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. There we go. Oh, I missed. Dude, that was even closer. So you got to hit it twice for sure. And then go one. Oh, no. Okay. I don't want him on strong as well, right? Like, that's too much. So if we just go strong, strong. Because he hits that. He doesn't hit that last one anymore. Like, he does sometimes, but not the other times. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that one was really close. And then it wasn't. So it makes a lot of difference too where you put this guy because if you put him up here it actually does it misses that first one so you want him like down at the bottom because then how it moves around and this guy i haven't really figured out the exact spot yet so those glues hit every time but then that see that second blue doesn't hit so it's like he does need to be a little bit off like that oh my gosh we finally got those second two we finally got it but we missed the first one. Oh no we might actually be onto something here boys so we'll put him there and then we'll put this guy way at the bottom we might actually be onto something. So we need to wait for that third one. Two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Just don't lose anymore. No, don't, no, don't. So I need to go back to left, you think? That was so close. So we wait for the second one, we wait for the second one. There we go, there we go. So we can get this every single time now. So I'm gonna go back to left then. And then we need to change our glue gunner to strong, I'm pretty sure. That's probably what we gotta do. Oh my gosh, if we change our glue gun into strong, I think we have this. There's so many steps, but this is the one of the coolest challenges I've played in a while, for sure. This takes a lot of my noggin. So we might as well just leave the glue gunner on strong to begin with. And then we'll one, two, three, four. Oh, we might have missed that one. I don't know why. No, we got it. We got it. Then go back to left. Hit the hit the red. So far, so good. This is really scary though. It looks like it's like super clean, but then super scary. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you have to get long range at the last second. Did you see that? Who made this challenge? Who made this challenge? This is a genius level challenge. Whoever created this should sign up for Mensa. I'm just saying. This is crazy. So strong on the glue gunner, left-handed for the boomer. We go one, two, swing them back around. There we go. Pop these two, pop those two, swing them back to left. And then we just sit here and hope and pray and then click on long range at last second. Oh, and then some might just slip through because of our beautiful beloved rng if you would have told me 10 minutes ago this is a solution i'd come up with i'd tell you you're crazy one two three i can't believe that's actually working every time now this is super clean to me then go back to left this is what worked last time yeah it's like looks super scary but it's also super beautiful and i'm just gonna keep waiting for this one click that thing as soon as it comes there we go yahoo <laughs> i can't believe i said yahoo but that was worthy of a yahoo and if you want to see even more bloom city 6 content check out this video where we make the most unwanted heli the comanche commander an eighth tier and make him unbelievably awesome